remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I watched a video of comedian Gary Owen on Mad Hatter Morning Show on 97.9 The Box's radio station in Houston. They were talking about all of the standard stuff, you know, stand up, what's it like getting on stage, do you get nervous, it's humble beginnings, all of that good stuff. And the topic turned to his relationship with his mother. Gary revealed that his mother disowned him. It got really serious and personal. And even though it did in true comedic form, Gary kept the jokes coming. But I could tell that when J. Mack started asking him about his mother and his relationship, it struck a nerve. He said that he grew up in Ohio, in dirt poor Ohio, in a trailer park, and that his mother was abusive and she was not supportive of him. And J. Mack, J. Mack asked some damn good questions in that interview. He's asked him what well, he said, well, you know, how did you break the cycle? You know, how did you get past it? He said, uh, you know, Gary said, man, I, I, I got around some friends who had a mama and a daddy in the house. He also said that one day he was sitting in class and his coach came and grabbed him out of class and asked him, why you haven't been to football practice? We need you. And he said, that struck a nerve. He was like, damn, somebody needs me. He was like, man, you need me? This 135 pounds, I think he said 135 pound, uh, five, two in the 40, something like that. You need me? So what I got from that is that, like all of us, we want to feel needed, right? If you know me, you know I, I don't have no problem talking about my upbringing, talking about my tumultuous relationship that I had with my mother. My mother was very abusive also. So I felt compelled to share this story because I know that there got to be other people out there that are going through the same thing or who have survived the same thing and probably is still dealing with the aftershocks of their upbringing. So getting through that is something that some of us are still trying to figure out. For me, I used my situation as motivation. Every time I thought about remotely thought about quitting something. I was like, nope, can't do it. Got to keep pushing. I don't want that life. I use it as motivation also to be a better father. It's like, I'm not going to be the kind of dad my dad was. I'm going to be better. I'm not going to be the type of parent that undervalues my children, that insults my children, that makes my children feel less. I'm never going to be the type of dad that makes my kids feel unwelcomed, unwanted. I'm going to be the kind that always uplift mine, always make them feel good. When it's a problem, I'm going to be there. I'm going to swoop in like Superman with a cape on. Woo, we go, Daddy, I got you. What you need, baby? I got you. That's the way I talk to mine. I let them know I got your back all the time. So one of the best things that you can do is first and foremost, understand that it's not your fault. Whatever your mama or your daddy got going on, where they have some type of resentment for you, 
That's on them. That's them and the demons that they're fighting. Some of them, some of our parents are really mentally disturbed. They are sick in the head. And they need help. And you don't have anything to do with that. Gary said he hadn't had a conversation with his mother in four years. But when she need him financially, he's there. Can't be around her, but car breaks down, he comes through. Need a little money for this, he comes through. That gave me a newfound respect for him. I always had respect for the dude, but that took the respect to a different level. I can dig that, and I can relate to it. Been there, done that. And he said, hey, you know, she carried me in her stomach. That's the least I can do. I can dig that. I agree 100%. But I will add, no one can make me feel disowned because I am my own person at the end of the day. And I would advise anybody who has a strained relationship with their parents to give yourself a purpose. Reflect good vibes and positivity with those who are in your family and others who are closest to you. Continue to grow and build something that impacts you and the people you let in your life. If you have kids, love on them babies like you've never been loved before by your parents. One of them, 10 of them. In fact, some of us may need to 1,000 of them because we were treated so shitty. You got the power. Don't sit around feeling sorry for yourself. What's done is done. If you got kids, it's imperative that you operate with a healthy mind, body, and spirit. They're going to need you. If you come across your parents in whatever setting, if you feel like hugging them, give them a hug. Hell, give them a kiss. Say goodbye or see you later. And bounce. You ain't got to kick it. Your mama brought you in. It's up to you how you go out. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.